Oh my god, people are really saying that this is gonna be Chris's last Mr. Beast video. Bruh. Chris really went from Chris with a C to Chris with a K because the K stands for what Chris likes. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph and you guys. So just over a year ago, a YouTuber by the name of Sunny V2 posted a video originally titled Why Chris Will Soon Be a Nightmare for Mr. Beast. The video was instantly hit with a lot of criticism, including from Mr. Beast who said that the phobia is getting absurd and that Chris is in his nightmare. Now, although the video currently has a lot of dislikes, you take a look at the recent comments, the discussion about the video has completely changed. Top comments like, bro had a vision. Give this man an apology. They hated him because he told the truth. Regardless of what you think about the video, one thing that the creator got true is that Chris has become a nightmare for Mr. Beast. So for today's video, I'm going to bring everything together and highlight what you need to know about the Chris Tyson situation and why a lot of backlash is happening. But I just want to put a disclaimer that what I'm going to be talking about today happened several years ago before Chris transitioned. In the present day, Chris identifies as a she, but what I'm going to be talking about occurred several years in the past before Chris identified as a she. So I will be referring to Chris as a he simply because Chris was a he at that time. As I feel that it would be unfair to associate Chris's behavior with being trans as those who are already face enough stigma themselves. So with that being said, let's dive into the first part of the video, Chris Tyson's creepy obsession with cartoon children. If TLC has shown me one thing, it's that people are attracted to everything. For example, some people are physically attracted to their car. My name is Nathaniel, I'm 27 years old, and I'm in a serious relationship with my car. <laughs> That guy misinterpreted sex drive and took it to a whole new level. Anyways, my point is that different people have different things that turn them on and although it may seem weird, it isn't always bad. But as for Chris Tyson, it's bad. So, you guys know the specific type of art relating to anime and manga, the 18 plus type of art that starts with an H? Well, Chris had a liking for this type of art, except the characters are just kids. So, there's an artist that goes by the name of Shadman and his art involves taking ordinary cartoon characters that we love, such as Teen Titans, and turning them into something much more perverted. Now, I obviously can't show the photos, but he drew things like Ash Ketchum being absolutely struck by Pikachu, and not by a lightning rod, but by a different type of rod. Shadman's drawings consisted of cartoons for kids and of kids that were made in an 18 plus type of way. And it wasn't always fictional characters. Apparently, he even drew explicit cartoon photos of Keemstar's daughter with Donald Trump. So, what does Chris Tyson have to do with Shadman? Well, he was a fan. And I mean a fan that hung up Shadman's art on the wall within his own house, as can be seen in an old Mr. Beast video. It appears that Chris not only liked the work, but bought the work, as you can see here in an old tweet where Shadman threw in some bonus fidget spinners. Shadman tweeted out saying, what is this and why do people keep sending me this? And Chris replied by saying, please Shad, please. Publicly begging an artist to draw explicit photos of cartoon teenagers is the lowest of lows. In another tweet is a series of photos of the twins from Gravity Falls kissing each other and Chris replies by saying, they're twins, so at this point it's just Master Right? The list goes on and on of Chris interacting with tweets relating to Shadman and his disgusting art. At one point, Chris even shouted out the artist because apparently he accidentally pulled up his website while on stream. Now, even though it is fiction and these are animated characters, not only being attracted to this type of art, but actually buying them and hanging them up in the walls of your house raises some huge red flags. And this serves as key information to consider with what I'm going to be talking about next. Chris Tyson um, supports child. We gotta protect our youth. When out of all people, EDP says that we need to protect the youth, that's how you know it's bad. Now on its own, indulging in these types of photos doesn't necessarily make Chris a bad person, but with what I'm about to talk about next, it really helps show Chris's true colors. No pun intended by that. So, there's a Twitter user by the name of Lava. Now it's important to note that their friendship started when Chris was 20 and Lava was only 13 years old. And right off the bat, an adult forming a friendship with a 13 year old is already sus. I believe it's important to be interested active with your fan base to thank them for their support but there's a difference between thanking your supporters and the way that Chris interacted with this one fan. Chris ran a poll asking if his fans would watch him stream Fortnite. Lava replied by saying please stream again with Chris replying thanks dad do you want to moderate it? What a weird way for a 20 year old to respond to a 13 year old fan. I mean maybe bro like if he said thanks bro you know something like that is okay but this was just the least of it. Chris made a post about his Patreon saying that the goal was getting close to 
being reached and one more Patreon until he releases his nudes. And Lava tweeted back saying, I'm your first Patreon big boy, sharing a screenshot showing a donation of $1 per month. Now Chris wasn't too happy about this and not due to the fact that Lava was just a child asking for noodles, but due to the fact that it wasn't $5. Chris really said, why not $5? Saying pathetic, just kidding with the kiss emoji. Lava then responds telling Chris to check again and Chris responds by saying, I posted some fire nudes for you. Please no share. Now regardless if according to them this was just some strange ass joke, no adult should be talking to a 13 year old fan this way. When it comes to an adult sending a kid noodles, there is no such thing as a joke. And their quote unquote friendship continues to get more bizarre with Chris sending Lava snaps such as this one here saying coming for America. Chris shared this photo of James Charles with white stuff on his face saying Lava's mom tomorrow. Lava sent Chris a picture of a banana saying practice with this. When you tweet saying cartoon drawings of young girls get your sausage going and then you communicate inappropriately with a young fan, it does not look good. Now, their online friendship took a whole new level once Lava turned 16 and was able to drive because apparently he took a camper van out in the middle of the woods to meet up with Chris. Now, when you tweet things like nothing gets my sausage going like some lolly as in the inappropriate young cartoon drawings and then communicate with a young fan this way, it does not look good. Now, Lava has come forward denying all the things alleged against Chris saying that the videos are just massive lies, that Chris never did anything wrong, and he only made a few edgy jokes. He also said, I didn't take a camper van to meet up with Chris. I was on vacation with my family and stopped by with my family. One thing that's for sure is that Chris communicated inappropriately with Lava, and if Lava was in fact groom, he would see nothing wrong with what Chris did. I've seen a lot of allegations of people accusing Chris of doing some physical nasty things to Lava, and although Chris did communicate with Lava in an extremely nasty way, we can't confirm or deny any of this until we see actual hard concrete evidence. But it didn't just end with Shadman and Lava. Sneeko recently came forward and had a lot to say, but he recalled the time when Chris referred to 14 year old bad baby as hot. When I was working for Mr. B, like in that time in 2017, 2018, I remember Chris saying like, isn't she hot? Isn't like cash me outside, girl, she, like, isn't she like 14? Is she 14 years old? Yeah, it's jail bait. And I'm like, what? And years ago when Janet McCurdy had explicit photos leaked due to revenge corn, despite Chris acknowledging that this type of revenge is wrong, that no one should leak these photos, Chris shared the link to these photos with his child fan base. The link's in the description if you want to see them. I mean, I'm not endorsing people to go look at somebody else's private business, but I know that, uh, you know, people might want to see him, so there, it's there if you want. Chris really talked about how we hear stories in the news of high school girls having their photos leaked and soon after ending themselves. You see people, they've leaked um, nudes from their girlfriend at a high school and that little that girl kills herself. It's a tragic story, everybody calls the guy a bully. Yet it didn't stop Chris from sharing those photos. And my point is that even if Chris acknowledged that a particular type of behavior is wrong, it didn't stop him from further engaging in those behaviors. As the days go on, more and more people are coming forward. Here's a screenshot of someone who alleges they were 14 at the time and 22 year old Chris sent a kiss emoji and called them dad. Here's another alleged conversation with someone who was 14 with what looks like Chris trying to sugar them up with birthday gifts and saying, I love you. So what now? Well, an alleged former employee of Mr. Beast made a video and listen to what he had to say. My name is Dawson. I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Ava, Chris Tyson is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. And when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. This does not sound good. And what we know about Chris so far is only publicly available information that took place over social media. But what went on behind closed doors, we don't know. Now we don't know if what this guy is saying is legit, but with what we know about Ava saying that Mr. Beast knew and that Ava is only the tip of the iceberg, that's crazy. As I said, Ava Chris Tyson has become a nightmare for Mr. Beast because Ava and Mr. Beast are great friends, but now Mr. Beast is tasked with having to address all of this. Also, what is it with all these weirdos being around Nickelodeon? Ava was really at Nickelodeon's 2022 and 2023 Kids Choice Awards. Ava has finally spoke out and said, 
said, I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we mutually decided it's best I permanently step away all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. Ava also denies anything more happening than just bad edgy jokes. You can't really say it's a joke because a joke is a one-time thing, but when you repeatedly say the same things, it becomes a truth that you're ashamed to admit. Anyways, I'm really curious as to what you all think about this, so leave a comment down below and let me know. As more information comes out, I will update y'all, but that's officially gonna do it for this video, so until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.